Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Uh, now, finally, we have a Bjorn Steven. Uh, she is a film director, writer, and producer who specializes in a lot of kind of movies, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, well, what kind is, of movies? What there's there's a specificity oh. on romantic yeah. movies, romantic drama, and films like that, you know, like Better Life, uh, Tough Love, and also uh, her latest one, A Simple, a simple Lie. You life. are welcome, Yoda Stevens. You're welcome. It's good Thank to have you, you here. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I read something quite interesting, which you said um, uh, about how, how you got into filmmaking. You know, it wasn't something that you really planned. It was something like an accident or something like that? Um, actually, I wanted to be an actor. Oh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the roles never came. Okay. But I've always been a writer. And okay. then I then say, you know what? I have to still oscillate in this industry. Mm. So let me go find something else to do. And I really like to tell stories. And behind the scene, I think I found my space. Mm. Behind the scene, I found where I needed to be. So writing led to directing. Yes, or writing led me to producing, producing led me to directing. Direct. Yes. Okay, so that's, that's the, the uh, what do you call it, the progression. Progression, yeah. For me. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm thinking that now that you're a director and mm -hmm. a producer, mm -hmm. shouldn't you write yourself, write a story for yourself and just and play the character or something? Uh, Wouldn't you want to do that? I mean, is there no temptation not, to do that? No temptation, actually. Oh, because when you look so? at the, um, the stress of getting into makeup, mm. dressing up and changing mm. one million times, mm -hmm. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Okay. All or right. maybe sometime down the line, but for now, I'm just focusing on, you know, just the joy mm -hmm. of being okay. able to watch a story that you've written come to life. I think that for me is so much fulfilling as mm. against, you know. Mm. Yeah. Maybe being so in front what of if in a case where you didn't write the story, but you had to direct it, how are you able to take a person's um, expressions and mm. formulate it into something that people would appreciate. How easy is that uh, a task? I mean, it's, um, I usually will work hand in hand with the producer many times because a lot of people know that I'm a storyteller. I usually am part of the storytelling process. Mm. And so it gives me a clearer picture. But even in a case where I never wrote the story, but I read it, you know, naturally you're a storyteller, so you're able to know, to understand better the characters. Mm. And hopefully, you know, the casting is right. Mm. then, you know, it's easy to have a conversation with the actors to understand where the story is coming from and where you, what you want them to do in interpreting, you know, yeah, the right. character. How much of... Uh, 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 how impactful or implicative is the cast to your directorial uh, role? I think that just casting right, the, the cast that fits, which is very, very important, you know, the cast that fits the profile of the character that is, you know, being said in the script. But more importantly an individual who really is willing and eager to interpret the character. I think that is very key because it's different when you cast right, but this person is not really interested in the story or even working extra hard. Yeah. You're not going to really go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, see, you see, this thing, you, you spoke about conversations with actors, and recently you held a master class for yes. actors. Mm -hmm. um, what, what were you planning to achieve? Did you achieve that? How was that? Talk to us about it. Um, I think I just wanted the, the actors or the upcoming actors to understand the rudiments of, and the expectations, you know, of kind of breaking into, this, into the industry, what is expected of them. I mean, as an actor, what am I looking out for as a producer or as a director? What am I looking out for in you as an actor? And, what, and you as an actor, what are you trying to sell? You know, because really, I don't know, we're all trying to sell something. Yeah, mm. we are. The producer is trying to sell the story. I'm trying to make this film and make the audience believe it. So you as an actor, what are you bringing to the table to really help us sell this market? Mm. Now, um, let's talk about A Simple Lie, but there are a few things I want to talk about. Yeah. You, mm. it, with A Simple Lie, we, we, we've seen one or two cast members that you've worked with before. And we, and we know that producers and the directors sometimes have favorites. Yeah, And true. you see them... <laughs> let's, let's, let's no, talk it's about not just here in Nigeria. You, I, yes. It's okay. It's cool to have a favorite. But, you know, um, when you see a producer, I've worked with this guy once, twice, mm. three, four times. Uh, what do you think? Chemistry. Chemistry, yeah? There's something called creative chemistry. If okay. you have creative chemistry with an actor and, you know, you enjoy working with an actor, particularly an actor that allows you to peel, mm. um, some of these actors allow me to peel them back. There's, there's always something fun to come back to and say, mm. it's another new layer that I want you to explore. You know, and so if I keep coming back, it's because many times these actors are like onions to me. What if, and there's always what something to peel. at the detriment of some viewers saying that, I uh, wouldn't like yeah, seeing this like combination. Yeah, We've very, seen this combination too much. Cast right. what is, is, it, is, it, is it just because you like them? Is it the right casting? So somebody might have been better. You know, some people might mm. feel so. It's always so? about the right casting first. Mm -hmm. Before okay. se Sentiments don't really 
play in, in all of this. The right casting is really, really important. Mm -hmm. How much of a uh, influence do you as a director have in casting then? Um, if I'm opportuned, if it's... A, <laughs> so it's not a director's role then? Well, no, it we always have, we also have people called casting, casting directors. Casting directors, you know. yes. Many times they work hand in hand with the director. They take what the director is hoping to see, you know, and then they go search for that talent. Okay, so yes. my well, other question, which might be my last question, mm. is new Nollywood, old Nollywood. Do you see a difference? Massive difference. There's a massive difference. Massive difference. Right. And some people don't I want mean, to I don't, say yeah, I some people don't want what, to I want to watch and understand, I want to understand what you're saying. Old Nollywood in terms of growth? In terms of growth, uh, individuals, uh, um, new Nollywood in terms of the people who are acting as active players in it now. Mm -hmm. um, and is there a marriage of the two anywhere? Do you see that happening? And is it happening well? I, I think that at the end of the day, um, it's always important to still bring the old and the new many times because the old have things to teach the new. The new has something to learn from the old and also the old have something to learn from the new. So it's always important to have that marriage consistently. Um, in terms of growth as an industry, from the old to the new, we have grown massively. We've grown in our storytelling, we've grown in our technology, our technical, you know, output. We've grown in a lot. Set design, we're paying attention to quite a lot more More detailed now, productions. More, more detail now. Because, again, we are trying to play for the global field. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody is really wanting to play anymore in the, in the mm, local setting. Local. You, want, you want your film to be able to travel. And so more attention is being played to that. And I also think that this new Nollywood allows you as a talented person to be seen okay. very easily on like the old. The old, the old it's, a, it's like civil service. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you know, step uh -huh. after. But now with the new, it allows you to be seen. It gives you a voice. And thanks social media. Yeah. Even if you don't make a film. Social media is not a even big a, influence when it comes to... I've casted people just from social media. Mm. Not without, without having to hold auditions because, you know, you are tagged in a monologue somewhere. And, you know, so there's a lot of opportunities now mm -hmm. for the players and the new. And, and they are very lucky, like when we were younger. Mm. Younger, exactly. So we're talking about your latest movie now. You, uh, Breaded Life was critically acclaimed. You've done some very quiet... Let's, where does this one fall in the scheme of things? Just a little bit, the synopsis and all of that. Um, so Simple Lie is really about a small lie that mm -hmm. was told that caused plenty of bass boost. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, it was just supposed to be, you know, that small lie that you just tell you a without lie thinking. Mm. Yeah. And then you just realize that, man, this is, and you have to keep lying. Yeah, and to lying, support it. And lying. And then now the lies are no longer small. They are monumental lies. You know, and you so know, you basically, remember what my dad used to say. He said, a liar should always have a good memory. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's, you have to keep track. Yes. <laughs> it's such a lot of work, yeah. but you have to keep track. Yeah. So um, we're expecting basketballs with this ah, one. Quite a lot of, but it's a, it's a situation of a yam pepper scatter scatter kind mm. of stuff. Oh, yes. wow. Scatter, scatter, Plenty of oh, basketballs. Like yes. oh, so how have you, now, um, how, do you, how have you reacted to criticism, negative one? Because I know that uh, with everybody, no matter how good you are, there will always be the ones that are critically acclaimed and the ones that are less critically acclaimed mm. as a person. How do you react to it? How has it affected and shaped your career? I think first understand that um, not everybody, art is subjective, really. Okay. So everybody views it in a very, in a certain, different. and different ways. Um, so first understand that as, as, as a creative. And then also not all criticisms are, are criticisms. Okay. So just look through the pool, okay. pick your own. Mm. and leave the rest. Mm. Like know, and it. that's really been my approach, you know. Okay. I, I, I read through it. I'm not a vast to it. I read through it. I pick what I think I can um, benefit from and what I think is not mm. a critique. We just, you know, leave it for the owner. Mm. Mm. So anywhere in um, uh, uh, this uh, Simple Eye uh, mm -hmm. production, did you think that, oh, if I'm going to work with this actor or that actor, I'm going to need them to have uh, a following of sort. And often, since you also mentioned that social media is one way which you cast people, mm. have, you, have you used this as a, as, a, hmm. as a yardstick? I want my film to be popular, mm. Let me and get I'm going to get these has... people who are good on social, who are big on social media. So, as a creative, and having to sometimes do the business of film, you know, sometimes those lines are very important. You need you need the you need the right cast, but you also also need because if you're going to maybe for instance cinema, mm. you want to be able to sell your film. You want people to be able to you know you want the audience because many times the audience make a decision based on who did the film. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. It goes sweet. That's mm -hmm. how some people make decisions. They don't you're even right, yeah. You're right, you're so right. you have to find a way to. 
to count, to cross all those T's, you know, navigate all of that and still retain your authenticity as a creative. Yeah. So like yes, that. it is important that whoever you cast, sometimes the numbers you need it, mm -hmm. you You're know. Right. But in a case where the numbers, uh, having the person with the numbers does bad for your film because the film, the person is not good, mm -hmm. then that is you doing yourself a disservice. So you need to kind of find the you balance. Know, the mm. balance. Because I've seen you know. where people will go and say, oh, this particular person is just there because of the numbers. Yes, and many times. Yeah. Well, yes, many times. And then it, it now seems as if it backfires. Yeah, yeah. Yes. exactly. You know, yes. the opposite of what you wanted to achieve. Exactly. So that is, the producer or the director, that's where it really comes in. You have to do a... Actually, it's a very, producer's problem. The producer's yeah. problem, yeah. Mm. You, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, how would you react when you get all of those negative, well, not so negative, let's just say constructive. Let's okay. just say you get everything, a mix of everything, a potpourri of negative, good, bad, worst type of crit uh, criticism. How would you as a producer react or advise that people react? Yes, exactly. Ah. You've spoken about you. Mm. How would you advise other people to react? Like I said, you take your own and leave the rest. But more mm. importantly, um, there's always a truth in the comments mm. so you need to be truthful to yourself mm. where have i goofed mm. are they right is this correct how can i make amends going forward mm. don't be a coconut head okay. honestly you know okay well, very like interesting tell you what we're going to do to everybody uh, out there we're going okay. to let you guys see a couple of the trailers uh by beauty steven so that you guys can understand her work and mm. by the time we get back, she'll be having some of our donuts, which we have ah. uh, prepared inside of the kitchen. Yeah, imagine right it's personally curated for yes, her. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's take a look at the trailer. Sir, how? Wait, oh, because these boomer are my safe now. Last week, Friday, we're seeing the clock. 